بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرل مین اینڈ پاکستان اگین ویلکم ٹو دی ماڈیول آن کارپوریٹ گورننس وی آر موونگ فارورڈ لاسٹ ٹائم وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دا فور پتیز اینڈ وی بیسیکلی وی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ایتھکس اینڈ ہاؤ دیز فور پتیز بیسیکلی انفلوئنس واٹ وی کال از دی فیمنسٹ ماڈل آف ایتھکس اینڈ اگین وی آر گوئنگ ٹو موو اے لٹل بٹ فارورڈ اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ایتھکس in a different context so that we can understand the different spheres and influence of ethics, especially in the context of organizations. So if we look at that, then an organization is a network of actions and tends to have different uh, influencing transcommunational levels and interactions. There are internal and external stakeholders. There are internal and external shareholders. And the interface between all of this is a very complex relationship, which has many ethical considerations and when we talk about these ethical considerations there is also the disclosure ethics theory which is concerned with the peaceful settlement of conflicts it is not that the different stakeholders and shareholders start fighting with each other but it is more important that there is discourse that there is there is an argumentation that there is an arbitration that there is conciliation and there is a peaceful settlement of conflicts because If the conflicts get out of context, then what is going to happen? The very fabric of the organization is going to become weak and might break up. And therefore, it will become a lose-lose situation. So therefore, to create a win-win situation, it becomes extremely important that organizations focus on the disclosure ethics theory, which talks about the peaceful settlement of conflicts at all levels, within all segments, within all departments, and within all divisions. That is extremely important. And that creates a win-win situation. Looking at it a little bit more, the discourse ethics, also called argumentation ethics, refers to a type of argument that tries to establish ethical truths by investigating the presuppositions of discourse content. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening in this particular model is that there is a great need to investigate why is it that people have preconceived notions, have preconceived suppositions, have preconceived beliefs which they are not willing to flex, which they are not willing to change, which they are not willing to accept the truth of someone else. Because what happens is, is that they develop rigid situations. And therefore, when we go in for a discourse, we tend to iron out these differences, tend to iron out the different uh, suppositions and try to come onto a common ground. And that is what discourse ethics is all about. Thank you so much.